I need to create a cover for the rear of my engine block and that's the perfect situation in Onshape for creating an additional part in my part studio. Let's take a look at how to do that. Let's start by rotating the model to take a look at the rear of the engine block and I'm going to start off by creating a brand new sketch and let's sketch on that surface. Then I will go to the use command and for the use command I'm going to select the surface and it grabs all the different lines and curves that are on that surface. The other entity that I need in this sketch, let's go to the circle command and let me look normal to the sketch plane. Just makes it easier for me to snap right into that origin and let's drag it out. I'll throw my dimension on here and this is going to be a diameter of 120. And everything looks great while I am here. Let's edit the name of the sketch. I just want to indicate to myself that this is a sketch for the cover part. I will hit the check mark. And now for the first extrude that I'm going to create for the new part, let's go to the extrude command and then I will select that face and then the inner face as well and right now it's being created in the correct direction but it is adding material to the engine block let's change the option to create a new part and for the depth of this one i'm going to change it's going to be slightly smaller it's going to be a depth of 20. and that looks good let me edit the name here and i'm just going to call this the cover extrude one again it'll just help me keep track of what is what here we have the second part in the parts list while I am here let's rename it and I'm going to call this the engine cover and you'll notice that the cover is in a different color for the next feature that I am going to create let me hide the engine block entirely and let's go back to the cover sketch and make it visible and now for this particular extrude let's go to the extrude tool and i'm going to grab that inner contour even though it's not completely visible there i know that it exists just because i created a feature using it a moment ago Let's flip the direction of the extrude and change the depth here to a value of 40. That's good. Let's hit the check mark. And then to close off the cover, once again, I will do a sketch. And let's sketch on this surface. Once again, let's use the project convert command. And I'm just going to grab this circle and hit the check mark. And now for this extrude, it's easier if I just select sketch one out of the feature list, then I will go to the extrude tool. Let's flip the direction and the depth of this one is going to be a value of 10. And that closes it off. Let's hit the check mark. And again, just to make my stuff a little easier to understand, let's rename a few of these features. This is going to be cover extrude two, and this is going to be cover sketch two. Forgot to put a space in there, that's okay. And let's rename this one to be cover extrude three. And that way we've got our different cover features and to make it even more easy to understand, we can select all of them and then add the selection to a folder and call this the engine cover features. And let's bring back the display of the engine block. And so in that way, let me hide the sketch. There we go. Now we have both of our 
parts created in the same part studio and I can use this in an assembly. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.